All right, so as you guys can see, we just got a new global producers letter on the official Dokkan Twitter page about uh, like an hour ago. So in this video, as always, we're gonna find out exactly what's happening together. So starting from the very top here, it says, Hello, this is the operation team of the international version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Are you enjoying the seventh anniversary celebration? The extra part is finally on too. We hope that you continue to enjoy all the 7th anniversary events to the very end. Now, this producer's letter will give you a sneak peek at future campaigns. Sounds good. So, popping over to the next page here. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit for you guys. Okay, so we have the movie collaboration campaign. A movie collaboration campaign featuring the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero will start from August 19th. And if you guys live in North America, I'm pretty sure that is the official release date for the movie. Um, if you live somewhere else, then it might be a different time, but for North American viewers, that should be the movie release date. So kind of makes sense why they're starting the campaign on that day, right? And uh, here is a little image of the uh, campaign promo banner, I guess. So it says you can get 40 Dragon Stones and 28 collaboration summon tickets upon the first login. We're also getting a movie collaboration login bonus. We get a movie collaboration ticket summon, which is the banner for the tickets. And also a special event called Path to Ultimate Power, Gohan and Piccolo. And from this event, we can acquire this free to play uh, SSR Teen Gohan, which is very strange because this guy is, I think, at least mid to late 20s in the movie. And he's married, he has a child and all that stuff, but apparently he's a teen. So it is what it is. So we got this uh, free-to-play Gohan, we get the event, we get the login bonus, the tickets, and the banner, of course, and 40 free dragon stones, which is pretty awesome. And uh, at the very bottom here, they also say a new high difficulty event related to the movie is also scheduled to be available. Stay tuned for the event. So this is very interesting because uh, JP also got this campaign around the time that uh, the movie came out in Japan, right? But I'm 99% sure that they only got this stuff, like the login bonus with the stones, the tickets, uh, the collaboration banner was just like a general banner with existing SSRs. It wasn't um, like a new, you know, Dokkan Fest banner or anything like that. So it wasn't really that exciting. And then also the uh, story event with the free to play Gohan. But they didn't get any kind of new high difficulty event. So this is actually news to uh, all of us, I think. And I'm not sure what's going to be. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a, you know, red zone style event or if it's going to be more like, um, you know, Infinite Dragon Ball History or the collection of epic battles or something like that. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. But this is very interesting. Maybe it's like a Super Battle Road stage or something to that effect, but it could really be anything. So that's, once again, very, very interesting. Otherwise... Uh, this stuff, if you guys have been keeping up with the JP side, you should have expected this for the movie campaign. So yeah, we're getting this, and there's also one more page here, so let me just pop over there. Uh, that is way too big. Okay, hold on. Okay, so uh, Worldwide Celebration Campaign. The Worldwide Celebration Campaign will also be held this year, just like every other year, right? We will release hints about the theme in a few days, so comment with your guesses. Various missions and events are available before the campaign begins. In addition, you can get lots of items that can be used to strengthen characters from the Blazing Sunshine Summer Training Campaign that started yesterday. So that would be the Raditz Campaign, which is currently ongoing. And uh, the Raditz Banner is coming in a couple hours, guys. Uh, if you plan to summon, I mean, you do you, but I would not recommended, I gotta say. Anyways, 
Um, so yeah, that's the Raditz campaign. Uh, grab the chance to strengthen characters and get ready for the new high difficulty events that will become available during the Worldwide Celebration campaign. That's all for this producer's letter. We hope you continue to enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, so a very cryptic message here. They, they don't really give any details about this uh, Worldwide Celebration aside from the fact that it is coming as we expected. Um, but one thing I noticed here is that they said, get ready for the new high difficulty events that will become available during the Worldwide Celebration campaign. And then on the previous page, they were like, a new high difficulty event related to the movie is also scheduled to be available. So I don't know if those are related. Maybe this is exclusive to like the campaign that's starting on the 19th. But, you know, um, maybe they were talking about this event being available in the worldwide. So, I, I don't know, man. I'm just speculating right now. Nobody really knows what the theme of the worldwide celebration is going to be. But I still think it's going to be movie related because it just makes sense. The timing would be perfect. I mean, if you wanted to capitalize on the hype of the movie as much as possible... I mean, releasing it around the time of the movie's global release in theaters would make the most sense, right? I mean, the only reason you wouldn't do that is if, I guess, they weren't ready. Like, they don't have the units ready or all the events ready for a movie, like a full-on movie celebration. Then I guess they would have to push it back to a later date. But, I mean, eventually, they're going to release... Uh, you know, like Dokkan Fest units related to the movie, um, like a new Gohan or a Piccolo or a Cell or whatever, right? So, I mean, yeah, the worldwide celebration would be the perfect time to do it on both sides of the game. It's a major celebration every year. It's arguably more hype to a lot of people uh, than the anniversary, right? So, I don't know. It just makes all the sense in the world to me. Um, people are speculating it could be GT theme because of the full power super saiyan 4 goku extremes the awakening that just came out on global uh that's that's a possibility of course some people are saying future saga because we need more vegetos since gogeta got so much love during the anniversary that's also i'm not gonna discount that like that could be a thing right but i still feel like man the movie like the dragon ball super superhero movie makes the most sense for the worldwide celebration but you know that's just me man i could be wrong I've, I've always said this, right? Like, I have no basis for this aside from the timing being perfect, right? But um, I don't have any other information aside from that, so it could definitely be something completely different. But the movie just makes sense, man. The movie theme for the Worldwide this year just makes all the sense. So we'll see. We'll see. And uh, yeah, guys, that is the producer's letter. They basically are just informing us... Um, you know, of this upcoming mini celebration with the, uh, you know, free stones, some free tickets, a free to play Gohan, and, uh, you know, the banner, which, uh, is not really that exciting, but you can get some free units from it, so it's not a bad thing by any means. And this new high difficulty event is definitely interesting. So if you guys have guesses for that, then feel free. I'll leave that in the comments but uh that's all i gotta say guys oh you know what actually i think i did pull up the gohan i did on the dokkan wiki so before we go let's quickly go over his details for those of you that care his leader skill is going to be bond of master and disciple category key plus two hp attack and defense plus uh 30 percent super attack supreme damage or sorry uh greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and then passive is Attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 58%. Performs a critical hit and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack once only. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to 58% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 58% and his links are Brainiacs, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, All in the Family, and Prepare for Battle. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Bond of Parent and Child. So 
that is the free to play Gohan. He looks actually really solid, um, especially considering he doesn't have a Token Awakening yet or an Extreme Z Awakening, which is probably going to happen during the official, like, major, uh, you know, movie celebration, which could be the worldwide celebration, or it could be a different time. Who knows? But uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. That is the. Um, producer's letter and once again if you have any predictions any speculation about all of this stuff then feel free to leave that in the comments but uh for now guys that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.